All right, all right, all right. We are back here at Song of the Day, coming to you from the Rock Cave. As usual, I'm your host, Mark Pierce. How are you doing today? It is Friday, and you know what Fridays are here in the cave, don't you? Do you? Do you? Do you know? Do you know? I do. It's Octane Friday, and we are pumped up today. Picked up this jacket, and I mean, what's not to like, right? Oh, man. Love me some Octane Friday. Hope you do too. You might be able to guess what we're talking about today because we doubled up with the jacket and the shirt. Whew. Let's talk about this week so far. Do we have any new Guy Clark fans out there after listening to Wednesday's episode? I hope so. We got a lot of good music coming up in November. We're almost smack dab in the middle of it, and somebody here in the cave has a birthday coming up next Wednesday. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Mix it up. We got all kinds of music. I mean, it, there's a lot going on here. Some good stuff coming down. Make sure you stay tuned and check us out. All right. Who are we talking about today? Today we are talking... You know what? I didn't have a song of the day for today until last night. doesn't happen very often. But uh, but I came up with this one. and I, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I was hankering for this band. I, I don't know. But anyway... Rick Allen turned 57 on November 1st. So that's what we're talking about. Rick Allen, drummer from Def Leppard. For those of you who are my age, you remember the story. But let's back up a little bit. English drummer, learns how to play drums at age 9. Uh, at age 14, his mother answers an ad. I'm just picturing it like on a telephone pole or something. The mother walking down the street. And the title on the ad is... Leopard loses skins looking for a drummer. So she responds to it for him and he gets the gig and joined on his 15th birthday. Then he drops out of high school as one will when they join a band, much to his parents' chagrin, I'm sure. But it worked out. And then next thing you know, on his 16th birthday, he's playing for Def Leopard, opening up for ACDC. How about that? Playing the Hammersmith Odeon. I'm going to talk about that place for a second. wasn't really my plan, but I feel like I see that a lot over the years on tour posters and, and live shows. It's on this Megadeth poster right here, right in the corner right there. Hammersmith Odeon. So I'm like, well, what is this place? It's been around forever since the 1930s. It seats like, third, for most of, its, most of its life, it seated like less than 4,000 people, right? In the heart of London. Uh, I think it's up to 5,000 right now. But basically, anyone, who's ever, anyone who has played there, everyone has played there, basically. We're talking the Stones, Bowie, Bruce, Bob Marley, Ella Fitzgerald, Duke Ellington, Queen did a night at the opera there. We'll be talking about them later this month. Uh, Kiss. Uh, in 1978, Van Halen opened up for Black Sabbath, still with Ozzy, celebrating 10 years of playing at that venue. And then the next year, Sabbath is back with Dio. And I think they played, they recorded Live Evil there or something. Or maybe, anyway, maybe I think it was unreleased live stuff. Anyway, uh, so many bands have recorded live records at this venue. Uh, Rush. White Snake, um, Mega Death, Countdown to Ecstasy. Oh my gosh! Someone's calling the cave. Is it a rec Is it a request at this hour? We'll have to call that back. Maybe I will do a live show one of these days. Wouldn't that be fun to do a live show? Anyway, so uh, <laughs> who else? We're talking. Who did live shows? Oh, Thin Lizzy. The Thin Lizzy's famous album was recorded there. Their live album, Live and Dangerous, was recorded there. The video from Def Leppard for... Um, uh, which one was that? One of their videos is recorded there. Um, I can't remember which one, but anyway. Uh, the Metallica played there. They played uh, Master of Puppets in 86. They played on that tour. That was the six days before Cliff Burton was killed in that uh, accident. Uh, let's see who else we got going on there. What's my list? I had to I had to keep a list. It was so big. We said Kiss, we said Queen, Van Halen. Uh, let's see, Rush, White Snake. Uh, let's see, it's bringing on the heartbreak. That's uh, the video is filmed there. So anyway, this venue, that's pretty cool, right? So fast forward, 
New Year's Eve, 1984. Rick Allen is driving in his Corvette uh, on A57 highway in, outside of Sheffield, England. He's, he's driving a Corvette C4. He's with his girlfriend. And we just remember being in high school and hearing all about this. We just, we did. We heard all about it. He went to pass a car, going fast, lost control, hit a stone wall and went and landed in a field. His uh, seatbelt was not buckled properly. I'm not sure what that means in that regard, but uh, the seatbelt severed his arm. Uh, a woman who lived in the area showed up. He said something to the likes of, do you know who I am? And she said, nope, never heard of you. Picked up his arm put it on ice, gave it to the EMTs. They did reattach his arm, uh, but due to infection, they had to remove it. As everyone knows, they didn't play again for almost two years. That happened in December 31st, 1984. And then August of 1986, they played, did they play Monsters of Rock for their first show? I think they did. And they outfitted his drum to play with his foot, what his would play normally with his arm. It was pretty amazing. I mean, I remember everyone talking about that and kind of being devastated. I mean, which is kind of interesting because most of the time you don't pay attention to drummers. But this, sorry drummers, it's just, you know, spinal tap. Anyway, it was a big deal when it happened and I'm glad that it worked out because what a band this is, right? Uh, so good for them. And uh, I never got to see them in concert in, then, in the 80s. So I want to hear, I don't want to hear if you saw them recently. I don't want to hear about... Uh, these tours that they're doing now. I want to know if you saw them smack dab in the middle. I want to know if you saw anyone saw the Pyromania tour. If you saw the Pyromania tour, I mean, Hysteria, fine. I got no problems with that. I got no beef with you. I get it. But I want to know if you saw the Pyromania tour. If you saw it, comment below. I want to hear it. So, I'm at seven minutes. Oh my gosh. All right, Mark, you're going to play a Def Leppard song. What are you going to play? You have one song to play. You're famous for posting like seven songs on Song of the Day. Well, guess what? I'm only putting one. I'm not even going to tell you what was in second place. But one song, Def Leppard. Mark, what are you playing? And it came right to me like a thunderbolt, right off of High and Dry. You don't hear this song enough, but man, this is a picker up for Friday. It really, really is. It's Let It Go. Let It Go. That's an awesome song. Turn this puppy up. It is great. It's a great song for a Friday. Enjoy it. And as usual, I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs> 